to Non-League Diaries. It's the first league game of the 23-24 season here for Farnham Town and we're away in sunny, sunny, beautiful Croydon for Ballum against Farnham Town. It's, uh, it's actually quite a nice day, to be fair. It's 24 degrees, slightly overcast. Um, the pitch looks better than it did last year here at Croydon. I certainly wouldn't say it's the best pitch in the world, but it's one of those grounds you've got to just turn up and get the job done. Um, and it, um, you know that's going to be a theme of this season, I think, where we just have to turn up and, and just get the job done, get out with the three points. I know that's very cliche, but it's one thing that we're going to really need to focus on um, and not get ahead of ourselves. You know, no real concerns. Lamin uh, Cisse uh, left the club this week. Um, I'm sure you'll get some bits from uh, the boys talking about that. Um, but nothing really to report. This is the exciting start to the season. Just got to get off on the right foot, and hopefully we can get that done. Keep it low, just drew it. Tell you what, more than four. Yes, it is. Four and four. No, more than four. I said if I hit it, we'll win by more than four. I'll tell him to go home then. <laughs> he's had one of them caffeine shots. <laughs> everyone's got these caffeine shots he's brought in, and everyone's like fucking wired. Quiet, before the it, Expected this time of year, all the pitches should be in sort of reasonable shape. But I, don't, I think this is has always been pretty pretty decent. But regarding the you know the game, the ground, you've got to come to these grounds and just you know get the job done and uh, and move on. It's as simple as that, really. It's a tough decision because the mile's been excellent, but unfortunately, you know he he had another commitment with a wedding and uh, Joe's come in and, and done well, so Joe, Joe stayed in. I think it's fair. I think everyone we've got in the squads are just as good as each other. So whoever we put in there, um, we're more than happy with. I think that's, that's our big job really, is our, our job is to have that, that depth in players and to manage it. It's no different to anything in life, it's just you know, you're know going to be thrown with sort of different different options and the different depending on who we're playing and obviously myself and John are, are look at it and just pick it, depending on who we're playing, what suits best and form and all, all them sort of things coming in. But it's our job to, you know, Lamar is going to be disappointed, no doubt about that, but it's our job to sort of keep him up and keep him sort of encouraging the boys and ready when he's called upon to, to be ready. I think his confidence has, has been not not too sure for what reason. You know, again, he's another one. He, he, he had a great attitude in the last year. Um, he was playing well. He'd come back in pre-season. Unfortunately, he had a holiday. Lamar's grabbed the opportunity. And, uh, yeah, mate, mate, he's just struggled a little bit, but I'm sure he'd turn it around. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a difficult one with certain players as well. Not a lot of players with change coming in. Some players just warm to it and, and see it as a challenge. Some players, it takes them a, a few weeks to adjust. And I think, what, echo what Jono said there, he's, he's just got to get his head down and just concentrate on what he's good at. We have spoke to him about this. And, uh, and just keep work, working hard and his time will come to then, to then, to then take his place. To see where it takes us with, with the cups, you know, this is this is the bread and butter, is, is the league. So, you know, we don't really want too many distractions in, in the cups, if I'm honest. Um, we want to play as many league games as we can, as quickly as possible. Um, but what will be, will be in the cup. Um, we'll enjoy it while we're in it. And uh, once we're done with it, we'll, you know, fully focus back on this 100%. The cups are just a bonus, really. Uh, for us, it's what we come here for was the challenge to take this to take this club through the divisions, and uh, and that's that's the important that's that's what we're here to do. Yeah, yeah. I think I think from day one, I think they pretty, they pretty much nailed it on day one. I think you know how we treating the boys to the, the way, way game the night over, um, and they hit the ground running with that. Um, a lot of the boys know each other, so that does help. And uh, yeah, I think the, the bond's getting stronger and stronger. That was always the plan, though, wasn't it, mate? It's, yeah. We've always been like that. We've said it, I think, since we arrived, when we first took over in the middle of the last season. You know, the bond between players, it was all a little bit bitty. I think we sort of managed to get, gather that towards the end of last season. And this year, you know, when, you, when you're building a side, not just with their ability on the pitch, it's, it's also off it, which is, which is, uh, which is massive in non-league, throughout anyway. But um, yeah, they've, and they've took into it better than I think we thought. You know, he, he wants to play, um, totally get that. I think, I think he had such a good impact with us at the end of last season. And then I, I just felt we, we changed formation and the formation doesn't really suit him to what we're playing. You know, we looked at him up top. I um, mean, he done well. 
Um, and he, he wanted to play. He wanted to play most weeks and try and find first team football. So you know, we wish him all the best, and uh, the doors always open for him to come back. Uh, here we go then. Here we go. Set pieces. Yeah, you all know your jobs. Barring that said, make sure we fucking work up. Off. That's a fucking given. Every week we fucking work our butts off. No matter how fucking good we think we are, we work your fucking butts off. Two, three touches round the pitch. Yeah, go one side, we go out the other if it ain't on. We try and attack as quickly as we can. Yeah, Pat will kick first 10, 15. We compete, make, make them fucking know that we're here to compete as well. We're not a fucking pretty side. We compete and then we play. Make sure you move that ball across the pitch nice and sharp. Can we pass forward as quickly as we can? If it ain't on, then we'd be patient with it. Make sure we have forward runners and we fucking communicate to each other. I expect us to go out there and be on the front foot from the start. Tricky pitch, you know it gets stuck under your feet, yeah? Two, three touch and we're fucking on it. Let's go. Well done, let's go. That's Farnham get the ball going forward and it's Shamal Edwards, who's beaten a man outside the box, chips it just over the bars. a really nice start from Farnham Town. Sanders who nips it around the corner straight to Cooksey with a bit of time and space. He will shoot. Shoots done really well. Saved. And it's a chance for. He's hit the post. D rule. How's it not gone in? Goalkeeper saved it. Wow. And that's a great touch from Owen Dean who's in field to Daryl Sanders. And now it's Dean rule who strikes the ball. Oh, and he doesn't get a second bite of the cherry. Jamal Edwards, it's got to be. It's got to be, I've got no idea how he's not giving that as a penalty. Um, he's taken the ball past him. Daryl Sanders finds Joe Jackson in acres of space here on the near touchline. Back to Sanders, easy, into Dean Rule, who passes it wide of the target. What another great chance for Farnham Town to get themselves ahead. Ball to nothing, and Ballon have got a chance here to come away with the ball. And seven is completely unmarked in the middle if they can find him. If they can find him, it's a huge opportunity. They do find him. Oh, and he's lifted it over. What a great chance for Ballon. Up front, Smith looks to take it. It's hit straight into the wall. Shamal Edwards! Wow, what a finish that is! First time, volley. He's hit almost like a cut into, into the far corner. Out of absolutely nothing. Snapshot, 1 0 Farnham. Cooksey to Joe Jackson, he's got a man over and he finds, finds Tom Smith with a lot of space on this near side to cross it. Great ball in, oh and it's a really good effort. Forward from Jack Dean towards Shamal Edwards who does hold it up, he can get it wide. Daryl Sanders now about 25 yards out from goal, out wide to Tom Smith who's got actually extra space in the middle of the box. Out wide, Daryl Sanders that is quite, quite frankly brilliant. A brilliant, brilliant goal. Oh, well done in front. Fucking, it should be six, shouldn't it, really? Yeah, a bit sloppy in the final third. But uh, as we go on, that tidy up. A difficult one, because it's fucking, I don't know, everyone seems to be doing it a lot. Like, is it the pitch that's fucking difficult to play on? We're scuffing passes, fucking not looking after the ball well enough. Yeah, especially with like, the players that are giving the ball away. It's just been too many times. Just sloppy, just sloppy, sloppy. <laughs> difficult, because I don't want to fucking make sure you go out there in the second half and we go and can steamroll it and we come away with six or seven is which what should be happening can we tidy up in the box yeah when it, whoever's crossing the ball i think jack dean had a great area and the movement you might as well have been these magnets yeah you might as well have been those magnets that's the movement call cool for him yeah you can be lively in there that goals that goals in that position that's just a fucking tapping don't stand still in the box yeah lively in the box better on the ball go and enjoy yourself can go and get yourself goals I think we just, got to, we just got to move it more. I think if it's not on, we just need to be that little bit more fucking patient all round. I think we just, we're looking, I know he says to get it into you, get it into you, Rawley, but if you're not on, encourage them to recycle around because I guarantee the next time round, you'll be on. It's just patience, that's all. I think we feel as though we've got to go and score every time we're going fucking forward. But when we're that little bit more fucking relaxed and we recycle that little bit more, everything opens up. It's been good. Second half, yeah, we go out and we're fucking up for it and we're going fucking steamroll 5 6 nil. Make a statement early doors, yeah? Good, well done. <laughs> Well Flatman well onside this side. Plays it across the goal. Charlie Postance, in it goes, and Farnham are 3-0 up, and it was a really, really nice goal. Go. 
and Poston does well. You can sell it out wide to Flatman, who jinks inside. Tries to play a ball across, he does really well. He's found his way out to Daryl Sanders on the outside of the box. Plays inside, Poston, Sanders. Oh, just behind Flatman, but with regained possession. Flat, Sanders. Inside to Kinsella. Ball goes across, it's a great ball! Oh, Poston can't quite get to it. But it's saved by the goalkeeper, that was really nicely played. The ball goes across from Daryl Sanders, the ball. It's a chance for Kinane. It just dives over the bar. Tom Smith on the far side, who goes long towards Charlie Poston. Um, but that only goes as far as clearance to Sanders, who clips it over. Looks for Flatman, who does his man. Flatman, it's cannoned off 100 people in the box, but not gone in. Feel like he could have taken the shot earlier. Sanders on the edge of the box, slips it in. Lewis Flatman tries to dink it. It's brilliant! It's absolutely brilliant. In the dying embers, Lewis Flatman chips the goalkeeper from inside the box. Round the corner, that is, that is not, that is naughty. It's a Postance. Sermon finds a really nice ball out wide to Daryl Sanders, who's playing left midfield this time. Cuts inside, finds Sermon, finds Sanders in the box, across the box, oh, what a chance. What a chance for Charlie Postance to make it five. What a lovely, lovely move that was. That is full time here at the Mayfield Stadium. Farnham Town have run away, convincing 4-0 winners. <laughs> Blow that. <laughs> well, done, well, convincing in the end. Uh, enjoyable, to be honest. Um, yeah, look, it's one of those games, you just, like I said at the start, you just got to come and do the job got to come and do the job and we've done that 4-0 we didn't manage to do that last year came here and lost 2-1 so some interesting results around the ground um, in the combined counties Jersey lost um, Nap Hill Jack, drew Jack ask him if he's in still last man standing <laughs> I, we, we're doing a combined counties last man standing us and the and the management and I picked Croydon and they've screwed me Out already. they've screwed me already so who's left in me and Tom. who have you got I had Red Hill. Red Hill and, and Farnham. I had Farnham, yeah. All right, so there's only two, two out of the six left in, as everyone else took Croydon. So we're hosting Sandhurst at home on Tuesday night at the Memorial Ground. Should be a good crowd, under the lights. Um, they just got beaten 6-1 by Red Hill. We're also going to be favourites um, right at the top of the league this year. Uh, Sandhurst newly promoted. Let's see how we get on, but let's flick over to the Memorial Ground and see what we've got cooking there. We're back. We're here in league action. This time it's Farnham's first home league game against Sandhurst. Uh, newly promoted side, um, should be a good good crowd. We're live streaming the game on YouTube. Uh, yeah, there's a real good buzz around the place and hopefully we can continue where we, we sort of left off on, uh, on Saturday. Um, Sandhurst come into this team, a bit of an unknown. Probably have a lot of young players um, and we're coming off the back of that 4-0 win. A uh, lot of confidence around the team. Hopefully we take that into the game and uh, get another three points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely evening. Hopefully, um, first home game. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a good turnout. Pitch is looking good. Pete and Spares have done a good job on it. Um, yeah, hopefully our boys can pass on it. Two four nils on the bounce cup, and then obviously into the league. So yeah, can't really ask for much more, really. Um, I think uh, over them sort of two ninety minutes. I think on Saturday we went through a little bit of a sort of slump for about twenty minutes, switched off a little bit. But you know that's a beautiful thing about having sort of a, a strong bench come on and completely change it again and freshened it up. But yeah, applaud it to the boys. They've uh, you know. More importantly for myself, the clean sheets are a, a, a big thing. So if we can keep doing that, um, then we've got half a chance. I think we're, we're still new. We're still adapting to what we're doing. And uh, I can only see us getting better. Um, obviously, this could be a different test tonight to what um, Ballon were Saturday. And it's one, hopefully, you know, we can come through 
pretty well. Anyone can really start, you know, and, and there'd be no sort of arguments. And it, it is literally like that. We will pick the sides that we feel that's uh, good enough to sort of, start, sort, of, sort of win the game. Yeah, sa same side yeah. as uh, Saturday. Uh, Flatty comes out of the squad, Vic comes in the squad. He's just, he's got a little niggle with his calf, um, which flared up again on Saturday when he came on. So we just thought tonight, with the games we've got coming, there's no need to risk them at all. Boys on the bench have got a massive part to play. We said that last season, um, that the, the subs, making five subs are huge at this level. And especially if you've got the, the quality that we have, you can, it gives us so many options. We're, we're, we're very lucky. How long have you both been Farnham Town supporters? Parents were on the committee down here and my old man brought me down here. So you're talking about plus 31, well, 31 years ago. Longer than that. <laughs> well, for you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, too long. Well, I've followed Farnham for years now. And obviously, local club, so local support really for me. Since I was about 13, 14, so I've been here for about, uh, what, five, five, six years now? I've been here since there was like 25 of us in like one stand. So like 2019, 2018? I live locally for the last 15 odd years and uh, yeah, today's the first time I've been dragged down to the, to the ground, you know. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it's going to be a good game. I hear that Sandhurst are not doing too well, so hopefully see a few goals. What would you say is your like most memorable moment? At going being? to Jersey. Going, going to Jersey. And, yeah? yeah. How, how'd you find that? Yeah, I, I, I liked it. And then after we had that party thing, it's brilliant well. and the final we and, and the battle final that was just amazing i say battle battle final last what season the flares yeah the flares the wanted man on battle yeah for you yeah <laughs> it's got to be a cup final from last season <laughs> owen dean masterclass two nil down um yeah came back and owen dean done us a free favor. free hat trick yeah nice little hat trick for him but yeah can't can't complain that it's got to be the best memory who would you say is your favorite player in the Champs. Shams. It's between Shams and and, and Flatty. I'd, for me, it's Smithy because I'm an ex defender. I like how he plays, how he's adapted his game, how he's yeah, actually you, developed to, as well. To be fair, the whole team, the whole. <laughs> yeah, but if my eyes, you couldn't be. You can't. They, you, you can't single them out. Just incredible. They've gelled really well, um, especially after pre-season. Um, yeah, they've shown at the two games. They've shown that they've linked up well. But number one, Nashi. That, what more uh, can I say? Are you looking forward to the season uh, as a whole? I'd say we should on paper win the league, but I'm not getting any hopes up. With step five, anything can happen. It all matters on the day. It's not, but, it's not going to be a walk in the park, you no. know it's not. <clears throat> but I would like to see how far we do in the FA Vars. I like energy, first 10 minutes. Yeah, come on, boys. Don't let him out of the fucking early, mate. They will go, they're full. They will go. Don't give them any fucking leg ups. No excuses, there's five tough boys, yeah. You leave it out there. 70 minutes, you're fucking done, you're fucking done. Same again, back four, another fucking clean sheet, been fucking excellent. It's all about what we do, yeah? That's a little eye now of what they do. If they do that, perfect. Every time we pick up second ball, one over the top, we go and break, we go and win the fucking game comfortably. Yep. Got it? Well, let's go and enjoy it. <laughs> Fans expect a lot this season. This is their first chance to look at them in competitive action. Um, they had a good pre-season for them. Now they've got to back that up with a, with a, another result, this time in front of home fans. Closer to Dino! Can fall back chance, we can we can kind of utilise them in the amount of ball that we've got. But here's Dean Rule out wide to Jack Dean, who tries to get the cross in, and it's Owen Dean across the goal, and it's in, and the flag is up. It was Daryl Sanders on the back post, and it looked incredibly tight. The ball was in the back of that. You tell us at home. Um, you will know more about <laughs> Sanders will always be in and around the box. Come in. Get in. Yeah. But when they go forward, they still look dangerous, and that's the sort of pick on you're going to get with Owen Dean. Dean Rule 
Back towards Saunders, shoots, saved. That only goes as far as Owen Dean, who keeps the ball on his feet. Keep it moving. Stuck under his feet. Um, Cooksey does well. Joe Jackson wants to find Sanders. He cuts inside. Shoots! Well, that's a great knock on. Sanders, low, good save. Can't get a lot of joy out of headers being knocked on into forwards. Perfect Again. Jackson picks up the ball, he's done really well. He's guided, guided past him into Owen Dean. Shot. Oh, it's a really good save. It's a really good save. It's a really good chance. He's had no, he's made no spectacular saves, but he's had to, he's had to make quite a few of those. Can he get his head up? Time for Owen Dean. Strides forward. Dean Rule flicks it out to Harry Cooksey, who again encourages Tom Smith to get the ball forward he does really well skips past his man gets the ball forward into the box yeah. and it's in it's in and Farnham Town have broken the deadlock just before half time I mean it's so unlucky for Harris he does so well yeah it's a brilliant first save but word for Tom Smith there skip past the man makes the space for himself yeah and then Sanders two bites of the cherry but he gets the goal um, he's up and running again, his third goal in his many games. Can't stop him scoring. Well done boys, well done boys. Couple more, come on. Just patience boy, before Jono speaks, it's just patience. Eh? It's just f***ing it's, but it, you know, we, We're going to come across this f***ing game after game, I'm telling you. Teams just sitting in, we just be patient and believe and it will happen. They will blow out, I'm telling you, they've done so much running as long as we just look after ball and keep doing the right things and don't get desperate it will happen yeah well done you just can't get frustrated with yourselves or the game you know the as good as the pitch is flat wise it's slow in it you know it kills us a little bit with the tempo that we want to play at but barring that it's all good well in control fucking dominating the game just have to be aware just have to be aware with them when they do break he's quite lively um, i think the seven and they may get a chance with it. So we have to be disciplined and make sure we're just constantly screening and we're doing the right things. But we go again, we go again. We do not get bored with it. We fucking enjoy it. Hopefully with the fucking light going away, a bit of moist comes on the pitch and it livens it up a little bit for us. But we're nice and lively, yeah? We we'll go and be fucking ruthless second half. We just keep going, we keep going, we keep going. Tempo of the game, they're starting to blow already. Yeah, they've got fucking 10, 15 minutes. Don't think we've got out of second gear. Fitness wise, yes, yeah, so we go and blow them away right at the start of the game. Don't get frustrated with yourselves. So, we're um, Connolly Roberts Mortgage Services, um, local to Farnham. Uh, I've been coming down, I live in Farnham, born in, you know, live around here. Uh, but was coming down last year and thought, yeah, I'd like to get involved. So, um, our office is only over the road, literally a stone's throw from here. It's, in, it's a nice family feel around here, and it seems like a club that's going places. Talked to Billy, my partner, and uh, he was keen to get involved in football as well. I got a season ticket, so I was coming down a lot. Um, but yeah, no, it's just it's just been it's always been my local club. I've played down here myself, and, and that. So it's um, yeah, good to get involved. Some good more moments, you know, better yeah. moments to come. So. FA Cup run. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, like I said, it's good for us to give back, and uh, it's exciting, you know, isn't it? It, no, it is it's... exciting, yeah, and we want to be part of that. So you know, and we're glad we can help. And so. it's a good way to raise awareness for the for our brand as well, and, and to collaborate with so many what's big names on that I can see around here. You know, it, it's great. So um, yeah, and looking forward it. to it. Right behind the goal, yeah. it's even better. So we'll hopefully, be in the newspapers every time we score a goal. So uh, <laughs> and on your vlogs, you know. So you'll always be able to see us. It's Jack Dean marauding forward, out wide. Jack Dean now with the ball across the box to Shimano. Oh, it's good head on it's a really, really nice save by Liam Harris. Across to his right, they've managed to get the ball back. Struck out wide into Dean Rule. Cooksey really nicely out wide. Barnum needs to get, get something from this attack. Ball goes out. Sanders! Huge amount of composure. Finds 
Daryl Sanders, he beats the man. Dean Rule, Sanders, can he flick him in? It's through, oh. it's into Shamal Edwards, who's oh. got, he's got to get his head over the ball. Shamal Edwards has not had his night in front of goal. What a chance, what a lovely move. And provides that focal point that we thought. Huge opportunity for Owen Dean to strike it and he doesn't do it well. But back into... <laughs> foul looked like it was going to be given, but it's... Oh, straight off the post there, Eric Cooks, he stunned that one against the against the post. 19, sorry, played in the second half. As the ball goes forward towards Tom Swift, it's a great touch, he's into the box, plays it across, and what a great chance. For falling as they get the ball forward to, to Charlie Postance. Okay, Swift. Cooks, turns. Let's it go to Sarnas, who drives forward, drives forward, skips it back. A really clever reverse pass from Daryl Sanders. And the Sanders player has just got in the way as he looked to pull the trigger. Two games so far for Farnham Town, going to make it seven against former Farnham Town goalkeeper Liam Harris. Steps up. Save from Harris. In the end. Yeah. Yeah. Owen Dean at the far post. A lovely cutback from Postons, if it was a cutback. Um, but it's it's enough. It's I enough think... for Farnham. And they never gave up after the penalty was saved. Well, I think that's the difference. This, you know, the Farnham side are hungrier. Time. It's a really nice ball into Wellard. Back. It's brilliant. Jackson. And it's Joe Jackson. Bottom corner, first time, left footed. It was a really nice cutback from I think Ricky Wellard. Yeah, they, they played him, played him forward. Uh, they moved uh, Joe Jackson forward, and he, he's come up with a goal. Uh, ball comes across. It's a really nice finish. Position. A position you like based on his ability to score goals. Postons. Wellard does well. Clips it inside. Into Charlie Postons. Oh, that's a good save from Liam, Liam Harris. A oh, man actually missed from Tolly. That's a lovely step over. Into Postons. Postons still got it. Great finish. And Farnham Town are 4 0 to the good. And Charlie Postons has battled his way through there. Lovely step over from Matty Sermon and Farnham have gone back to back to back 4 nils. Yeah, it's a brilliant finish. Um, all night Farnham have really tried to place the ball in the back of the net. Charlie got through and he leathered it. It was a brilliant finish. And that is it. Farnham 4, Sandhurst nil. Farnham get off to back to back 4 nil winning ways in the league after a 4 nil win in the cup. <laughs> Right, well, it's three in a row, four nils. Um, this one probably less deserved than the other two, but you know, you, you still have to turn up on the night and do the job. Um, Charlie Possens comes off the bench and scores another goal. 
maybe he's playing his way into the starting 11 for, for the FA Cup game this Saturday at the Memorial Ground, who knows. Um, but great turnout, over 360 people here during the summer holidays uh, where lots of people are away on a Tuesday night. Um, brilliant for combined counties football and you know more amazing games going on across the league. So lots, of, lots, of, lots and lots of positives. Um, but hopefully you can make it down here. You're watching this on Friday. I know you watch it when it comes out. You're watching this on Friday. Hopefully we can win 4-0 tomorrow in the FA Cup and go through to the next round. But it's still going to be difficult. Um, we've got the FA Cup Saturday. We've got an away game at Cobham on Tuesday night in the league. And then the week after, we're at home again in the FA Vars. Loads going on at Farnham Town. Get yourself down to the Memorial Ground. Come and celebrate with the boys. 4-0 is the goal every game that's the goal with three games in three four nils no goals conceded very very few saves that pat Nash even had to make we'll see you next week but please come down tomorrow for the fa cup